A sculpted lower chest is essential for an aesthetic and proportional chest. However, this area is often very difficult to develop. In today's video, we are going to discuss three ways you can accelerate growth in your lower chest, and I'll go over specific examples of how you can incorporate them into your training routine. Welcome back to another video. I'm Brendan Martinez. I'm currently getting my doctorate in physical therapy. Now, before we jump into the three tips on what they are, let's do a quick anatomy review so we understand how our chest is actually made up. Our chest is made up of two muscles. We have the pec major and the pec minor. As the words imply, the pec major is the bigger of the two and that's gonna be the muscle that we focus on in today's video. The pec major has two heads. You have the clavicular or upper head and then there's the sternal or lower head. Now, since we're talking about our lower chest, we're gonna pay extra attention to the sternal head. Now, you can bias this part of your chest by performing any decline exercise. And this leads perfectly into the first tip, which is to incorporate decline exercises. Any decline exercise will provide direct stimulation on the lower chest as it changes the angle that gravity acts on the weight along with the orientation of the lower chest muscle fibers. When you are in a decline position, it not only works your lower chest, but it also reduces the stress on our back and our shoulders. So this is good to keep the stress localized to our chest. Another benefit of performing decline exercises is that it's been theorized that you are able to lift more in a decline position rather than an incline or flat position. Now this is anecdotal, meaning it's not 100% true. However, you should be able to do a weight that's relatively close to what you would do on a flat bench, which will help us progressively overload the sternal head leading to more muscle growth. Now let's go over some exercises other than the decline bench press because it's important to incorporate a whole bunch of exercises that will work that sternal head. Now you can also perform high cable flies, forward leaning dips, along with incline push-ups. If you incorporate any combination of these exercises into your training program, I promise you you're gonna start seeing growth in that lower chest area. And that wraps up tip number one. Let's jump into the second tip, which is to vary your grips during chest exercises. Changing your grip can be a strategic approach to really target that lower chest area. One effective grip that you can utilize to target the lower chest is a wider grip. And you can do this on bench press, push-ups, and pretty much any chest exercise. This change in position causes greater activation to the lower chest due to the orientation of the sternal head fibers. The width also influences the angle that your arms are positioned compared to the trunk, which alters which part of the chest is being worked. Similarly, taking a wider grip will actually place our arms further apart, which puts more stress and tension on the pecs, which will lead to more muscle growth in the future. Now you can incorporate this grip on pretty much any exercise, but just to name a few, you can do it on the flat bench press, the decline bench press, and push-ups. And that wraps up tip number two. Now let's jump into the third and final tip of this video, which is the focus on nutrition and fat loss. Now I've covered a full in-depth video on fat loss, which is popping up right here. You should 100% check it out after this video. But today we're just gonna focus on a few of the basics. As I'm sure you all know, nutrition and fat loss play an important role in achieving a more defined physique and this is especially important for our chest. If you have excess adipose tissue or fat in your chest, there will be little to no definition, and this is the opposite of what we're trying to achieve. Now, the two main points that we're gonna talk about in today's video is going to be incorporating resistance training along with obtaining a caloric deficit. Now, if you're watching this video, I'm assuming you're doing some degree of resistance training already, which is perfect. But according to the American College of Sports Medicine, you should be performing resistance training at least three times per week if you wanna achieve any results. Resistance training increases our resting metabolic rate which essentially refers to how many calories you're burning at rest. And this is directly proportional to our lean body mass. So the more resistance training you do, the more muscle you're gonna have and the higher your resting metabolic rate will be. Next, let's talk about a caloric deficit. A caloric deficit is any shortage in the number of calories consumed relative to the number of calories needed for maintenance of the current body weight. So for us to achieve this, we need to know what our recommended caloric consumption is per day. Now, there are many calculators out there that you can use, but basically they base it off of your age, your height, your weight, and your sex. And I'll leave a link to the Mayo Clinics down in the description below. And now that we understand this concept, let's talk about one way that we can achieve this caloric deficit. And the strategy that I'm referring to is eating nutrient dense foods and basically these foods are very low in calories but very high in nutrients this means after a full meal you'll be very full and the calories that you consumed will be much lower having a diet based around this principle will make achieving a caloric deficit much easier now some foods that are nutrient dense include fruits lean meats vegetables whole grains nuts and beans now disclaimer I'm not a nutritionist but incorporating some of these foods into your diet can help lower your caloric consumption. Now, if you incorporate all three tips I've covered in today's video, it's gonna help sculpt that lower chest and give you the aesthetic chest you've been dreaming of. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed today's video, please leave a like and subscribe for more. And don't forget to hit push notifications to make sure you never miss an upload. 
you have any questions on the content covered, drop a comment down below and I'll try my best to answer it. Other than that, I'll see you in the next video.